Welcome to the MS Maritime Museum of Denmark. Denmark is a country with a long maritime history, and beneath you is an old dry dock, which was once one of Denmark's most significant shipyards for almost a century. This old dry dock is now the site for our museum, but from 1915 to 2012, the collection was housed at Kronborg Castle, which you can see in the distance. It was decided that a new museum, fusing the past and present, should be situated here at this famous site. Hold your breath, and let's turn back time. You are now standing at the bottom of the dock. And now the docking process is complete, let's return to our story. Kronberg's World Heritage status meant that no large structures blocking the view would be permitted. So the only way forward was to place the museum beneath ground level. Big, Bjarke Ingels Group, suggested making the dock the centerpiece of the exhibition, building the museum underground around the exterior of the dry dock. It was a radical suggestion, and it would prove to be one of the most challenging construction projects ever undertaken in Denmark. One of the most complicated challenges was that with part of the underground concrete construction removed to make room for the museum, and with no water in the dock to weight it down, the water pressure from the surrounding ground would force the dock upwards like a floating ship. The solution was the 461 anchors you can see in the dock. They are fixed into the limestone 42 meters underground. In 2013, after three years of construction, the museum was opened by the museum's patron, Her Majesty Queen Margaret II. Well, that's our story. Now you're ready to go back to the real world and discover the architecture and maritime history for yourself. <laughs>